going to help really start to get the color going over the next couple of days. Remember when we were in those 70 degree temperatures about two weeks ago, I said that it would kind of delay the onset of the color. Well, that is exactly what has happened. We would typically be closing in on peak by this time, but we're still looking at more of mid Michigan under the patchy color. Northern lower now nearing peak. We're seeing peak conditions in western sections of the upper peninsula. So as you're out and about, Taking in all the fall foliage. Don't forget, I want to see those pictures and we'll get them on air for you. Whether at NBC25.net is where you can email them to. You can post them to the NBC25 Facebook page or my page. And you can also tweet them to me, WX guy Jason Adams. And we'll start showing these colors as we've been showing them as we go into the next couple of weeks. Again, about a one week period from now was when we'll really start to see those colors going because of the cooler conditions that we'll see over the next couple of days. Last night you went to bed. We had clear skies this morning. No changes to that. We'll stop it here right now at 516 and notice that all of us from north to south are seeing some clear skies. A few high clouds south of I 69. Those will continue to stay south of mid Michigan as we go throughout the day. The big story continues to be just how chilly the temperatures are as we've seen a good 5 to 15 degree temperature drop compared to this time yesterday morning. Now seeing a lot of us in the 30s, not the 40s, and we're even dropping below freezing now in Cairo, nearing that in Bad Axe and Tawas at 34. We jumped to 42 though in Flint, 41 in Saginaw, 30s along 127 here from Clare down to Alma, and we're looking at 38 degrees as you step out in Owasso. So a chilly start for the bus stop this morning. Definitely want the kids to be aware of that. We are going to be talking about coats needed. Jackets, you'll need them not only this morning, but even this afternoon, even though temperatures will get into the mid 50s. We are going to look at some pretty strong winds today. Winds gusting at times up to 30 miles per hour. So how long does the cool weather stick around? It's going to stick around for a while. We're looking at overnight lows staying into the mid 30s. Frost will likely develop over the next couple of mornings and then we'll gradually warm things up going into next week. But at the same time, Joel, we bring back rain chances.